Hello, Julia. Hello. Danny, welcome. Hello. Hello, Danny. Did you have a lesson with Tatiana Vitarina? Yes. Right now? No, at 10 p.m. At 10 a.m. Oh, at 11. Because my son has got a lesson with her at quarter past one. <laughs> That's why I ask you today. <laughs> so, Michael is here. Great. Hello, Michael. Hello. How is it? You look sad. Is everything okay? No, but I'm sleepy. Oh, you have, oh that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, let's start our lesson. Uh, Alina is not going to come today. She will be next time. She, Her mother has a birthday today. That's why she missed the lesson. She misses the lesson, but everything is okay. So, guys, let's start our lesson with... The, uh, some phrases. Why not to remember what we studied before? Let's go. Uh, everyone, look at this. So, here they are. We have got some phrases uh, what we studied before. I give you, oh, let's, I will take you, I, I don't know, how many? Okay, 50 seconds to look through in, in and in one minute we will do that together, okay? So, Guys, have a look. You have got 40 seconds to look at it. Come on. Then we'll double check it. Okay, let's do that. Come on. Uh, so, Julia, you want to be the first one. Come on. You can start with any you like. Okay? It's not a problem at all. Uh, most families have a skeleton in their cupboard. Yeah, but only cupboard. 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 Okay, great. Um, Michael? I'm tired of walking for peanuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, Danny. My eye, my eyes keep watering. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Yeah, you're right, Julia. Mm. My nose is running like crazy. Yeah, running like crazy. Oh, all oh, this one. Okay, thank you. Uh, Michael, your turn. Back to daily grind. Yeah, back to the daily grind. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Back to the daily back grind. Back to the daily grind. Right. Um, Danny. Mm, happy slightly belated birthday. Um, sorry, one more time. Slightly. Yeah. Happy slightly belated birthday. Yeah, but first of all, slightly belated happy birthday. It means like прошедшим, слегка прошедшим днем рождения. Yeah, so this is it. Slightly belated happy birthday. Uh, slightly belated uh, happy new year. Slightly belated April Fool's Day and so on. Okay, uh, next one, Julia. I have been a bit under the weather all week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Michael? What makes your relationship with your significant other unique? Mm -hmm. Danny? He's always taking the mickey out of me. Yeah, bad man. Uh, Julia, yeah, your turn. Uh, there is still time to reach a compromise. Yes, okay. And the last one, Michael? 
I hardly think jeans are appropriate attire for wedding. Yes, guys, everything is great. And of course, it will be your homework <laughs> to do that and to remember the phrases. You are great. Okay. Uh, guys, have a look. Can you please... Uh, okay. Look at this. Uh, tell me which of these phrases you don't remember, the meaning, the translation. Don't worry, just free to ask me. And they will. I will remind you. I'm tired of working for peanuts. Yeah, peanut peanuts. It means like very little money, very little sum of money. For example, I'm tired of working for twenty hryvnias. Yeah, very little amount of money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Anything else, Michael? Yeah, yeah, I don't remember the phrase. He's always taking the mic out of me. Uh, wait, Mickey only, yeah? Uh, Mickey, Mickey. Mickey. Yeah. yeah, he's joking with you, but his jokes are not good. Oh. Like this one. Making a fool? Yeah, but in a bad way, really. Yes. It, it's not good. It's disapproval. He's always making... Mickey is like, mm, like this one. <laughs> that is the Mickey. That's why he's always taking the Mickey out of me. Uh, anything else, Julie? Um, yes. Uh, what makes your relationships with your significant other unique? Unique. 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 Yeah. Your significant other, it's your boyfriend. Or maybe mm -hmm. your husband, or I don't know, the partner who you live with. Yeah, this is it. And for boys, it's okay. their girlfriend, or maybe their wife, or the partner they live with. Significant other, your significant other. So, Julia, who is significant other for your mom? My dad. Of course, <laughs> yes. <laughs> your dad is significant other for your mom, of course. Anything else, guys? Oh, that's okay. No? Mm -hmm. Danny, Julian? Maybe you? I've been a bit under the weather. Yeah, when you you are not well. You mm. are, you have a cold. When you're ill. Yeah, that's when it. you are ill, but this phrase, I'm a bit under the weather, it means that you know this phrase. Danny, you're a cool guy. <laughs> you know how to say that not only I'm ill, yeah, but I've been a bit a bit under the weather. Yes. Intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. You're clever. You're very smart. Is it all? Guys? Maybe yes. 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 That's wonderful. Okay. It will be a homework. Let's continue. Last time you have this one. So have a look. You have got eight wonderful pictures, eight phrases. Let's start. Julia, you were the first. Michael, what is number one? Have a look. Um, look at it. Yep. Uh, number one is the. It can be backpack, no. But everything in common, like backpacking uh, and cycling and everything in common. What is it? So is it a package holiday? Nope. No, no, no. It's... Adventure? Ah, an adventure holiday. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I know why it. I... Oh, yeah, I, I know. It was my fault, really. I don't know why I, I wrote it like this, but this is it. <laughs> yes. Okay, next one, uh, Danny. It's a cycling holiday. Right. Uh, Julia? Okay, it's... Um, Look at their okay. bags. Yes, yeah, of course. Right, uh, Michael? The beach holiday. Mm-hmm. Um, Next one, Danny, Danny, your turn. Camping. Yeah, you're right. Um, Julia? City break, holiday. Yeah, just a city break. This is it. Michael, mm -hmm. all inclusive. What is it? Yeah, a package holiday. Mm -hmm. And Danny, the last one. A winter sports holiday. Go on, let's continue about accommodation. Uh, Danny, go on. What is number one? Oh, uh, I guess it's a no. Mm -hmm. A guest house? No. Uh, no, not a guest house. It is made of wood. When something is made of wood, we can say like a car. No, caravan. A, a care. Cabin. I don't. I a didn't cabin. Know. 
Yeah, this is it. a cabin. No, now you know it, okay? Cabin, it's a house made of wood, or it can be cabin in the train, or cabin in the, uh, on the on board the plane. Can but I just say, we know, yeah. Can I just say wood house? Yeah, yes. you can, but uh, let's uh, look at it in the Google, for example, yeah? In Google. So, guys, if we write like uh, cabin, yeah? Cabin, what we have? So, cabin, look at it. Can you see that, Danny? Mm -hmm. So, it's better to say cabin. Of course, we can say wooden house. Wooden house, it's also the same, really. But cabin, I don't know, they say like cabin. Why not to use cabin? Maybe it's more and precise. Yeah, well, perhaps here, smaller, mm -hmm. maybe. But actually, if we uh, open Google, not Google, but uh, oh, not, 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 not this, uh, Longman, uh, cabin, yeah? Cabin. A small house, yeah, you may write, Michael. Yeah, cabin is a small house made of built wood, an area of forest and mountains. So maybe, yeah, Michael, you were right. That is a small house made of wood, cabin. But if we say wooden house, it will be something bigger. Okay, yes. If we compare, yeah, look at this. Wooden house is something big. Uh, but cabin, it is smaller. Okay? Now let's continue. Michael, what is it? Yes, it's... Uh... It's a guest house. Nope. Mm, no, you can have breakfast there. Uh, what is yep, it? So it's B and B. Yeah, that is right. Uh, Julia, what about this? Uh, it's a caravan. Uh, caravan? No, yeah. this is caravan. Camper van. How to remember, guys? Uh, Julia, when you say van. This is it. It's a van, mm -hmm. right? And camper van, mm -hmm. you you just travel there. But this one, what is it? It's a caravan without a van. Yeah, this is it. Because uh, you can't uh, you can't drive in a caravan. Yeah, caravan. You take it to the car and then you move it like this. So this is a caravan. Um, Danny, five. I think it's couch surfing. Yeah, couch surfing. What does it? What does it mean? <laughs> couch surfing. Uh, for example, your friend, or I don't know, your cousin came to you and he said, "Oh, Dan, hello, let me sleep with you for one night." And you say, "Okay, take s take the couch and sleep there." That's kind of so, weird. Yeah, in in uh, Ukraine, yeah, it's uh, it's free, it's unusual, but in America. That's okay for them. Let's ha have a look. Uh, couch surfing. Yeah, let's look at it. Danny, can you read it? The practice? The practice of staying for free at the homes of friends or other people and sleeping on their couches when you do not have a permanent home of your own or when traveling. Yeah, for us, it's really freak. Uh, but for them, that's that's okay. Uh, Michael, what is it? Uh, is it a house swap? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, sorry, guys, this is it. Oh. I made you, uh, I made mistake really last time. Guest house, it's a small house, it's like a cheap uh hotel. Uh, this is a guest house. Look at this. Uh, of course, if you are very rich, if you're wealthy, maybe you live in a big house and there is a guest house nearby. But also a guest house. Uh, where is it? Yeah, no, not not this dictionary, guys. Mm, guest house. This is it. A small, cheap hotel. So it's a hotel, but it's small and cheap. 
Or it can be a small house near the large one, but it's better a small cheap hotel because we are speaking about accommodation right now. Julia, it was like in Schodnitsa, Villa Mazola, it was a guest house. Of course, they say cottage, <laughs> yeah. but that is uh, that is not a cottage. That is a that was a guest house. About cottage, a small house, usually in the countryside. This is it. That is a cottage. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, next one. Whose turn is it? Michael, you please. Let's do this okay. one. It's a houseboat. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, Eight, Danny. I think it's a self-catering apartment. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is it? Self-catering no. apartment. Look at it. Can you cook there? Yes. It... So it's the hotel where it's special room and you have a kitchen there and you can cook there. Okay. So, so uh, <coughs> yeah. It's like in a room in hotel? I don't know. It's like what? I don't understand. Can you repeat again, please? Self-catering apartment. It's like a, a hotel in the room, but you have a kitchen there. Oh, and okay. you can cook there. Okay, Just thanks. like in this one. Yes? In this. You don't have a, a kitchen here. You need to go downstairs to the cafe or to the restaurant, right? But in this one, you can cook and it's not a problem. Julia? Uh, a youth hostel. Mm -hmm. This is it. And the last one, uh, Michael. It is a house swap. Yeah, when they change the houses. Yeah, actually for them it's okay. For Ukraine it's not okay. Yeah, we have a TV program, a house, uh, a wife's warm, oh. right? But, <laughs> but we don't have uh, like the usual habit. A house walk, but what? <laughs> no, that's my house. Okay, guys, here they are. We've got everything here. So, which of the holidays in exercise two would you most like to go on? So, look at the holidays. Don't look at the pages. You don't need it. Pictures. Julia, what about you? Which holiday would you most like to go on, and why? Well, maybe it will be city break to. See another city's house, uh, the architecture, yes? Right? Architecture, oh, yeah. Uh, architecture of another, uh, other cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that each uh, city has um, a little uh, special, uh, in the uh, little special, and uh, I really like to. Um, learn more about this and mm -hmm. it I think it's cool to know the a lot of uh, cities and uh, and in each city we have uh, a little other people and it's uh, really cool to speak with maybe a little other people but it will be other people Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. So city break city break is for you. Uh Michael, what about you? Which city would you like? Uh, not uh, city, which holiday would you like to go yeah. on? I'm really into city breaks, but I think I will also like to go to a cycling holiday. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, Explain. Because um, yeah, I like cycling. It's, mm. uh, it, it was my hobby, you know, that's uh we were oh, cycling a lot. <laughs> Do you have a bicycle in Germany? Yes, I took oh. my from Ukraine. So. Oh, really? Yes. That's that's great. Okay, uh, Danny, what about you? Which holidays do you prefer? I prefer beach holiday because I really want to chill a lot, and, <laughs> I'm, and I'm a little bit of lazy kind of person. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah, I also like beach holiday. Yeah, just relax and do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys here they are let's uh, let me see no 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 like this yeah look at this guys here you've got some phrases some collocations you need to find out what collocation it can be look at it you have got 14 numbers try to guess what they are uh you have i will give you two minutes to do that yeah, you may use the dictionary, but first let's do it in such case. 
try to guess the first thing. Try to guess by yourselves what you know, what you remember. Maybe you had your past experience and you knew these phrases. Even if you don't know, you may look up this word in the dictionary, okay? You have got uh, three minutes, okay? In three minutes, we'll double check. Come on, three minutes. Okay, let's try to do that. Come on. So, guys, let's do it. Uh, Michael, you are the first. What will it be? See the sights. Yeah, uh, you're absolutely right. What does it mean, see the sights? Um, so, to go and see uh, the famous monument or museum mm -hmm. or something like that. Yes, you're absolutely right. Great. Uh, next one, Julia. Uh, take it easy. Yeah. What does it mean? Take it easy. Um, One word. How can we say it? Uh, let's think about the situation. We won't be so serious about this. Uh -huh. So, guys. Easy, yeah, take it easy. It's like very simple. You can say like, uh, I will show you the word and you will understand it. Like Danny prefers... What? Relax. 
or chill? Yeah, that's chill. absolutely right. Relax, chill, do nothing. This is it. So, relax and not do very much. That's it. Julia, read. Take things. Uh, take things easy for a few days and you should be all right. Yeah, or take it easy. Or maybe when somebody is very ups upset, yeah, to become less obsessed and angry. Danny, what will you say? Uh, just take it easy and tell us what happened. Yeah, that's it. And uh, American English, yeah, say goodbye. Take it easy, really. Or take things easy. Just relax, chill. That's the same. Oh, take it easy. Oh, that's okay. Uh, next one, number three. Um, Danny, Danny, yeah, you chat. Be out in the restaurant? I don't no. Know. What do we usually do in the restaurant, Danny? Eat. 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 So, eat. Eat out in the restaurant. Yeah, you eat go somewhere. Food, but eat local food. Yeah, so this is it. So, yeah, like... Can we use it twice? Because I uh, see... Where is it? Local food? Uh, number eight? Food. About local food? Yeah, Julia, it will be try. Yeah. yeah, try local food. Eat, you can eat if you know how uh, the taste of it. Yes, but if it is for the first time, you try local food. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael? Get away from it all. Yes, when you want to go somewhere to get away from it all, yeah, usually about me, once a year, I get away from it all. I go to the Carpathians with Andrew, with my son, or somewhere. I want to get away from it all. So run away from it all, okay? Uh, next one, uh, Julia. Uh, broaden your horizon. Yes, very cool. What does it mean, Julia? Can you translate? Um, look at my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, Danny, your turn. Enjoy new experience. Uh, enjoy it can be, but what else? One more. Experience. Like like this, have have new experiences. Uh, Danny, can you look at it? Where can it be enjoyed? Mm. Look Lots at it for, for everyone. Yeah, have new enjoy experiences. Yeah, mm -hmm. you enjoy the nightlife. You enjoy disco clubs. Uh, I don't know other interesting sites. You enjoy nightlife. Um, next one. Seven, uh, Michael. Um, well, maybe soak up the sun. Of course, yes, okay. this is it. Soak it up mean? the sun. Uh, try to guess, it's easy to guess. Soak up the sun. What is it? Soak up the sun. It's my first time I've seen this. What? It's like, no, like a cigar cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you soak up the sun, what is it? Sit? Sit outside. Sit for a long time, enjoying the sun. Yeah, so you... Нежиться на солнце, да? У нас есть такая фраза. Нежиться на солнце. Еще есть что такого у нас? Soak up the sun. Нежиться на солнце. Раскинуть ласты. Soak up like a Soak up, да. Yeah. Like a soak up, yeah. Soak... Yeah, about the sponge. Yeah, uh, look at it. If we soak up a liquid, yeah, it takes the liquid into yourself. Spit of it, not not like this, but spit of it. Soak up. But this one, when we have sun, soak up the sun, the rays, the sunshine. You sit outside for a long time and enjoy. Нежиться на солнце, like like this one. Yeah, sun bath. It can also be. Why not? Um, nine. Uh, Julia, your turn, yeah? Uh, be physically active? Yeah, active only, yeah? Be physically active. Danny? I guess pamper yourself at SPA. Or yeah, spa. at, or at, at spa. spa. Spa, okay. Yeah, spa. So, Danny, try to guess, what is it? Yes, that's, that's okay. Yeah, right. Danny, have a look. 
to look after them. To look after someone very kindly, for example, by giving them things that we want and making them feel warm and comfortable. So this one, Pam. Uh, pamper, pamper yourself, yourself yeah, and stay it. in one of our luxury hotels. Yeah, pabaluti sebe. Yeah, like Dennis said that one, right? Pamper itself. Mm -hmm. And guys, pamper. Mm -hmm. um, 11, Michael. Yeah, your turn. Uh, hang out with your friends. Yeah, when you go out with your friends and you're doing just nothing. Yeah, this is it. Um. 13, Julia. Meet people. Yeah, and the last one, Danny? Recharge your batteries. Yeah, that's that's very cool. Recharge your batteries. So, you know, yeah, when you are tight, you need to recharge your batteries and you get away from it all and to broaden your horizons and have new experiences. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, uh, what about this one? Look at the picture. Tell me, please, uh, look at these pictures and uh, tell me what people want to do if, when they get on these holidays. And, of course, use uh, use these phrases. For example, Julia, if people want to take, easy, to take it easy, they go on a beach holiday or a cruise. Cruise, yeah, or a cruise. Okay, uh, Michael, you have uh, good experiences in cycling. You told me about that. So, what about people if they want to go on a cycling holiday? What do they want to get? What do they want to do? Using uh, okay. these phrases. Uh, from my experience, uh, it was, um, I think, uh, we were hanging out with our friends uh, when uh -huh. cycling. So, for us, yes, it was the way we were hanging out. Okay. Uh, Danny, what about this one? In the camping, I think uh -huh. people want, want to take it easy and uh, hang out with your friends. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't really understand this kind of holiday, but <laughs> and I can't say a lot about it. Yeah, but people like them, yeah? Like it, why not? Uh, Julia, what about uh, city break? City break. Okay. Uh, if people want to meet people, they go on. They go to city break. Yeah, they want to meet people, see the sights. Yes, people see the sights. Yeah, mm -hmm. they go on a city break. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, let's have a look. What you need to do here? You've got the crossword, but first of all, just read it. Okay, let's read one by one. Michael, fancy? Fancy soaking up the sun on a beach holiday. Mm -hmm. Soaking up. Yeah. Uh, okay, like like this one. Uh, number two, Danny. Do you want to be physically active? Mm -hmm. Physically active. Uh, Julia, three, three. Uh, rent a beach house uh -huh. post with friends. Yeah. Next one for Michael. Do you like seeing the sights? Uh -huh. Danny. And uh, a helper oh, uh -huh. It's on an uh, what's holiday? I'll preserve it on an what? Okay. Oh. Preserve presentation. Help preserve it. Preserve what it. what holiday can it be? No camping holiday. But article N, right? Hmm. Oh. What do we have with an article N? What holiday do we have with an article N? Adventure holiday. Oh my God. Adventure holiday. Yeah, on an adventure holiday. Adventure help preserve preserve. Let's find the word preserve. Mm, help preserve. Save something, someone from being harmed or destroyed. Make something continue without changes. Store food a long time after treating. 
it's interesting. What is there? Help preserve it. But it's the verb. Okay, let's open Longman uh, Cambridge Dictionary. Keep something in order to prevent it. We now treat food. Food made of fruit and vegetables, bought of sugar, no. Activity that only one person typifies is responsible for. Uh, guys, really help preserve. I, I don't know what they mean. Okay, but this is adventure holiday. <laughs> We have no other variant, really. I will think about it. What does it mean? Help, help preserve. Okay. Uh, next one. Uh, whose turn is it? Julia, your turn, maybe. Yeah. Uh, six. Six. Oh, six. This is it. Six. Uh, cook for yourself and your friend in a, a self-catering apartment. Uh -huh. Okay, um, Michael? Try local food and visit an area with traditional restaurants. Uh -huh. All right, uh, go on eight. Uh, Danny, help? And help people by going on uh, cycle hunting? Maybe this one. Mm -hmm. People. Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, whose turn? Michael, your turn. Consider. Oh, is it not true? Okay. Uh, consider, okay. Consider uh, which includes the hotel and flight. What um, holiday? Mm -hmm. It's all inclusive. Mm, yeah. Holiday. <laughs> Package holiday, right. Package holiday, uh, nine, ten. Julia, try. Try, uh, yeah. In Rome. Rome is a city, right? Yes. City break. Uh -huh. Yeah, city break. And the last, yeah, uh, not the last, eleven. Uh, Danny. <clears throat> Take a, and visit for parts of the uh, Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a Mediterranean. Take it's the sea. Take a adventure. No, mm, no. But what is it? Crew. A cruise. Take a cruise. cruise. Yeah, but there is no cruise here, right? Oh no, we have oh, it. Take is, a cruise. Mm hmm. And the last one, Michael. Go couch surfing and sleep on sofas all around the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, guys, uh, couch, couch, couch surfing. So, guys, what, uh, yeah, am I right with the word surfing? No. Uh, surfing, no, 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 of course no. Mm -hmm. uh, surfing. So, what you need to do, gentlemen, and I will do that with Julia. Gentlemen, you will do it together. So uh, you do this questionnaire and then you try to guess what is your holiday, okay? So what type of holiday should you go on? So you read it and say yes or no, yes or no. And then you will come and these are the results. And then after that, test, say, do you agree with the choice or you don't agree with it, okay? Let's, I will take a photo. I'm sending it to you. Guys, wait for me. Mm -hmm. Have a look. Gentlemen, did you get it? Yes. So, in pairs, you answer together. Uh, yes, no, yes, no, and then choose choose the answer, and then you need to find out what's the best holiday. You agree or you don't agree with it. So we need to find yeah. our best holiday, yes? Yeah, but first answer this quiz, okay? So the answer like in the text? So, yeah, so for example, let me, let me show you, Danny. Uh, for example, you read the first one, yeah? Fancy soaking up the sun on the beach on a beach holiday. Danny, you told me yes. So you say yes. And you read the next one. If Michael say no, 
he read the next one. And you do it till the end and see what is your holiday. So okay? I ask when I get asked. Yes, like this. Yeah. Yes, like this. Yeah. You can do that. Okay? Guys, work together. Come on. Uh, okay, wait. Julie, you stay here with me. Okay. Gentlemen, five minutes. Come in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Julia, we'll start with you. Let's go. Come on. So, read it. Fancy? Uh, fancy soaking up the sun on the beach all day. Yes or no? For you. Yes, for me too. Yes. <laughs> okay, go on. Can you? Can you only afford budget travel? Mm, what about What's your budget? It means yes or no? You know what is the budget. <laughs> Do you know? Can you only afford to post those wallets to be budget and put the put your shirt there? Yes or no? No. So yes or no? Come on. Uh, no? no. No. Me too. Okay. Go on. Uh, rent a beach house on the coast with friends. Mm -hmm. Is it about you? Rent a beach house on the coast with friends. Yes Maybe. or no? Yes, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But we like um, active uh, holidays too. Mm -hmm. So you like to be what? Uh, be a physically active Be physically active. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's okay. Okay, let's imagine what we say yes. Okay, yes, imagine. <laughs> Go on. Uh, do, do you want, want to be away from the crowds? Yeah, a lot of people. Yes or no? Um, no. No, okay. Go on, consider. Uh, you consider a package holiday which includes a hotel and uh, flight. Is it about you or no? Yes, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I never fly it, so I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's wonderful. Okay, let's come back to uh, let's return our gentleman. Mm -hmm. uh, I think yeah, it was. I don't know why I gave you five minutes. That's We're that was here. okay. Oh, you're here, gentleman. You've done it. Okay. Uh, what holiday was yours, Michael? Uh, so my perfect holiday was uh, city break in Rome. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you agree with it? Um, yes, I partly agree with it. I'm into city breaks. I wasn't considering uh, Rome like an option, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it seems like mm -hmm. a good idea. Mm -hmm. Danny, what about you? I got uh, a nine. It's considered a package holiday, which includes the hotel and flight. Is it about can, you? Is it true? I can say because uh, it's it's, it's uh, about me, and I can change my opinion suddenly. So I don't mm -hmm. know, but at this time <laughs> I think yes. I okay, this. yeah, that's wonderful. Uh, guys, let's have a look. At this one. What I would like you to do, guys, I want you to choose uh, four the most difficult collocations for you. Okay. Maybe they are difficult for you to remember or you don't know them. That's also okay. And make sentences with them, with these collocations. Four. Only four sentences, four collocations. But what to do? Uh, you don't, you need to make up uh, gap sentences. For example, uh, I don't know, I decided to take see the sides. Yeah. Uh, I, and I'm typing. I'd like to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, when I visit London, yeah, London. So this is it. It's a gap sentence. So you need to make up four gap sentences and send it into our chat in Zoom, okay? But with gaps. And everybody will read it and try to guess what it means. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Uh, Danny, is it okay? So we need to just uh, take the space and pull the words, yes? 
Yeah, but don't forget about what collocation you used, okay? Okay. Because after that, I will ask you, Danny, is it okay? Is it right? Did Julia and Michael say correctly? Okay? Okay. So, guys, four sentences, uh, five minutes and four sentences. Oh. Yeah, you've done it. Everything, no, Danny. No, no. Uh, not Michael. No, Michael, one. Okay. And guys, four minutes. Come on. Four sentences. And don't forget, don't, don't write the collocation itself. We need to guess. Everybody needs to guess what it is. And of course, I will also type my sentence. Sorry, I should I send every everything in chat or should I just send it from my notebook? Danny, that's okay, like you did it. You should, uh, but Danny, write something because look at it one, two, three, four, four. I, I will show it to you. Uh, for example, uh, wait, okay, Danny, this is my sentence. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, of course, I want to from it all. Leave something so everybody can guess. Oh, okay. So because here, very... yeah, because here you can guess, yeah, what it means from it all. Okay. Yeah, leave something, please, there, okay? Guys, two more minutes.
guys, send it into our chat. Come on. Waiting here, Michael. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, let's start, guys, with my sentences. <laughs> let's let's do that, and then we'll continue. Come on. So look into our chat. Uh, start, Michael. You are the first. Um. So when I'm exhausted, I want to get away from it all. Yeah, Danny. The second one. Yeah. People usually. Uh... No, no, no. It's better for me to. What to um, do? Sorry, it's better for me to so soak up the sun rather than go hiking. Yeah, and Julia. Thank you. Yes, uh, people need to recharge their batteries from occasion occasionally. Yeah, don't use from, of course, occasionally. That's it. Occasionally. <laughs> yeah, I had a mistake. Julia, uh, Julia's sentence, Michael, I'd like. I'd like to when I visit Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. oh, I'd like to see the sights. Julia, is it okay? No. No? What else? <laughs> Michael, what can it be? Food. I'd like Julia? to try local food. No. No. Danny, your parents? I have new experience. No. No? <laughs> Julia, what was it? <laughs> Enjoy the nightlife. Ah, this is it. Yeah. But all the phrases are here. Great. Thank you. Uh, Michael, go on. So, uh, pamper yourself and spy is the best rest for me. Yeah. Hey, pampering. Be attentive. Uh, pampering. pampering. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny, number two, Julia's sentence. People usually be more physical, <clears throat> be physically active in the mountains. Julia, is it okay? Yes. Yes, but only people are usually physically active. Oh. Yes, people are usually. Okay. Uh, Michael? Three. Michael, speak louder. Hey, mm -hmm. can you hear me well? Yes, now it's okay. Uh, okay, each person should... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Five words. Okay, should eat out in a restaurant. Julia? No. No, Danny, Why? you're wearing... Uh, should bumper yourself at a, spa at a, a spa? Yes. Yes, <laughs> pamper themselves. Yeah, pamper themselves. Only Danny. Okay, Danny, continue. One package holiday. Mm. Package my holiday is not my option because I'm not a big fan of uh, soaking up the sun on a beach. Yeah, is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, Julia, number two. I'm a bit uh, steamy person, and I hardly stingy, ever stingy person. Stingy. Stingy. In your person, and I hardly ever pamper myself at the spa or places uh, like, like that. that. Yep, it's all right. Yes. Uh, Danny? It's really important for me to broaden my horizons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hor horizons. You think hor horizons? Uh, guys, let me double check. I thought hor Danny. Uh, I think it's different. Let, let's see. Horizons. Yes, Danny, you're right. Horizons. Yeah, not horizons. Horizons. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia? Mm, I'm into cycling and sightseeing, but sometimes I'm too lazy to be physically active. 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 Michael? Yes. Yes, that's great. Uh, go on. Uh, Michael, continue, I think. I think you should hang out with uh, your friends more. Yes. Yeah, more often, maybe, yeah, ah, more, more often. <laughs> okay, Julia, number two. Uh, sometimes everybody needs to pamper themselves at spa. Yes. Yeah, pamper, pamper. Okay, pamper. Michael. Thank you, Danny. Michael. Sometimes... It's when it's when I had a mistake. Ah, sometimes <laughs> when someone tries to make him make out of you, you should take it easy. 
Oh, right, Danny, great, good sentence. Uh, Is it okay? Yes. I thought to take a mic out of you. To take okay. only, yeah, to take a mic out of you, yeah. Danny, okay. better not make, but take, take yeah. a mic. Make isn't correct. I thought make uh, is No, okay. Mickey is okay, but take yeah. a Mickey, take a Mickey. Look, make a fool out of you, no? Can, can no, 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 no. Make a joke. No, do the joke. No, take, take the Mickey. About Mickey, only okay. take. Okay. okay. Uh, Julia, if um, if you want to tell interesting stories, you should see the sites. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Danny, the last one from Julia. Sometimes. Sometimes we need to take it easy about the situation. Yes. Yes, okay, guys, everything is great, really. Uh, okay, for the next time, yeah, of course, we have uh, something interesting more with these words. You will see a lot of interesting words, but it will be next time. That's it, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. You were great today, really, as usual. Really. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.